it's Margarita here and welcome back to my channel where we talk about sustainability, nature connection and animal conservation. In today's video I will be taking you on environmental van life adventure across Portugal. Me and my assistant and friend now Paige, we toured the whole Portugal while filming three important environmental projects about reforestation, marine conservation and wildlife rehabilitation. You can watch all the content already on my channel and while while you add it, please subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all the exciting environmental content that we have coming out. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. It all started with an idea of van life documentary trip. We wanted to explore Portugal, we wanted to experience van life and of course we wanted to film important environment projects. For this trip we collaborated with Siesta Campers which is basically the coolest van rental company in the whole of Portugal and me and Paige basically committed to living together in a van for the whole month without meeting each other ever in person. So we worked together for a whole year but we never met in person and we jumped straight into this van life adventure. Stay tuned to see how that went. So we picked Siesta Campers for obvious reasons. The owner of Siesta Campers just recently got uh, four hectares of land that was really damaged by the fire in this area. And they have their own environmental project there where they're trying to reforest the area and uh, rebuild traditional village over there. So I feel like by choosing their company and by supporting them, we're also supporting another of their environmental projects and it feels great. It feels good to know that owners of companies like that actually care about the environment. We tried to make this trip as less carbon impactful as possible and as much meaningful as possible. So not only we made documentaries about environmental projects, but we also stayed in incredible eco hotels and eco resorts uh, that have their own little environmental projects over there and uh, just provide incredible ground for nature connections. So I will be making a separate video about all of those incredible stays. The most narrow road. Have you ever been on a van life adventure? Where was it? Do you have any cool stories to share? Let me know in the comments. Welcome to the van tour. This is our Scarlet Siesta Camper. Uh, we call her Scarlet, um, I guess, because she's red. I'm not too sure, but I think it's a perfect name for this uh, camper. So this is our home away from home. Uh, we sleep over here. We have all of our stuff uh, behind and also there is space. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Also, there is space underneath. Also, before starting our trip, um, we went to a bulk store. Not me, actually. Paige did. Okay, there we go. Okay. So she went to a bulk store to get some of our food items in bulk so we avoid plastic as much as possible. This is definitely our proudest moments. Those walnuts we collected ourselves around the, a tree, a walnut tree that grows around my house. And a few days ago, Paige took a whole freaking thing and she cracked all the nuts. She's very strong. And then we also have our little fridge where we have all of our food. This is where we cook it. We have a hob over here. We used it a few times for sure. And here is our little sink. Everything is foldable. And the roof extends so you can stand here and like be your full size. You can do even a little dance right here. Um, yeah, it's quite easy to put it up and down. And we also have this little decoration, little fairy lights that look very cute at night. A little demo. Also got Vivi, 
Uh, with this, we can actually work from anywhere. And uh, yeah, we sometimes work in the van, we work in the evening, we can watch a movie in the van. That was a great experience. Um, yeah, okay, I guess that's it for now. We traveled, we laughed, we slept in the sickest places, we saw the most incredible landscapes, uh, we explored hidden gems, we partied, we made friends. At each project that we visited, we were met with open arms. We stayed about for a week with each project and during this time we were physically joining the teams for all the activities that they were doing to really learn what goes into important environmental work. This project was created not just to bring awareness to different environmental topics and discuss environmentalism, conservation, solutions, but it was also our opportunity to feel blessed and connected to nature, to get inspiration from amazing people who turn their passion for environment into their job, who live in alignment with their values and their mission. And I hope you can feel it as well. I hope you can get inspired for action and you can become one of those people whose work and whose mission is to help the planet. And of course, I hope that this video will inspire you to get out there, to explore, to connect to nature, to learn about animals animals, trees and plants and of course to learn about the problems that we're facing but of course also to learn about the solutions that we have because we have so many. Did you already watch our previous documentaries? Which one was your favorite one? Let me know in the comments! Throughout this trip, we managed to stay in some incredible places, eco-friendly hotels, resorts, retreats, and explore mindfulness, try different things like ice baths and breath work and exercises. During this month, we fell in love with Portugal. I mean, I was in love with it before, but the things we saw were just incredibly amazing. We also fell in love with van life and we got to experience what it feels to work on the road. Sometimes it is not that easy. We had our hotspot in the van and we were working digitally literally every single day without a day off while creating content, while filming environmental documentaries and of course traveling, exploring, meeting people, partying. It was pretty exhausting but so worth it. The memories we made are here for life and the lessons we learned are here to stay as well. Huge thanks goes out to Jack Wolfskin, the best adventure brand out there. Thank you so much for supporting this project, for keeping us dry, safe and comfortable. If you haven't heard about them yet for some reason, definitely check them out. They're not just environmentally driven, they literally create the most adventurous gear out there and you definitely need them for your next adventure this is it for today thank you so much for watching this video till the end let me know what you think about it and also please go ahead and check out our previous videos about every single one of those organizations we are really talking about super important and exciting environmental stuff and i also think that it's pretty fun to watch let me know what you think and of course Thank you for watching this video and for your likes and comments and for your support in this weird social media place. Your engagement means everything and is what helps us to create more content like that. So if you're engaging with it, you are making a difference, I think for me and for the world as well. So thank you for that. I am super excited to announce that my next project is going to be in South Africa. I will be filming three animal conservation projects and you can stay up to date with all of that by subscribing to my channel and following my Instagram and TikTok is margarine underscore s and over there you can also find out how you can join me on my next adventures. Thank you so much for watching guys and I see you here next week. Bye! Have to do a little. <laughs> and what the the village? What what about the village? The store. And the store. The village. Uh... In the, in the village. <laughs>